Hey guys, welcome to Hip Hughes History. We're banging out some content for you. In the next couple minutes, we're gonna go over NAFTA. That's right, guys, you're so excited to hear about the North American Free Trade Agreement. So let's do it gangster style. Thank you for the learn, and here we go. All right, guys, we're gonna keep it short and sweet. Let's give you the kind of the operational definition. NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement, is an agreement between North American countries. There's only three of them, how could you forget them? We have Mexico, the United States, and Canada. Now, the deal was negotiated by uh, George Bush Sr., the first George Bush president, and there was kind of a tentative deal that was signed in uh, Texas, I believe, in 1993 by George Bush, by Brian Mahoney, who's the Prime Minister of Canada, and I'm gonna go with Jose Salinas, uh, who's the president of Mexico. The basic premise is this, that we're gonna knock down barriers to free trade, tariffs and taxes, um, trying to have quotas to protect American goods, or from the Mexican perspective or Canadian perspective, to protect their own free markets within their own borders, um, is going to fall by the wayside as kind of an economic idea. Now, certainly there's people that believe that we need tariffs and barriers and uh, uh, economic protectionism, and certainly you can leave down in the comments below. I'm not picking a side. I'm just saying that maybe in the 1980s, the end of the Cold War, there's more of a view of kind of economic interdependence, globalization, that uh, countries need to work together. And uh, generally, this is a Republican, a conservative idea, but uh, Democrats as well, they're called New Democrats, Bill Clinton being the first big New Democrat president, that's going to accept this more moderate economic idea. Not so much a leftist idea, more of a center-right idea. So uh, the results are still out, but certainly in the business community, the Chamber of Commerce, they're going to point to the idea that trade has increased from, I don't know, in 1993, it was probably around $330 billion. It's probably about $1.3 trillion in the last few years. So uh, trade has increased at a you know, a three, four hundred percent increase. But certainly groups like labor unions are going to argue that that's at the expense of the loss of good middle class manufacturing jobs. Um, and that would be to the tune of about 700,000 American manufacturing jobs that have kind of fled the country. But at the end of the day, these issues were negotiated in um, the United States Congress. It was actually a very close vote. It was uh, something of the 234 to 200, and uh, that would be a majority of Republicans that voted for it, but there was still about 100 Democrats that voted for it. In the Senate, it was 61 to 38, and 61 is a big deal, baby, because that is one vote over the filibuster. So certainly Bill Clinton was doing a lot of wheeling and dealing in order to get that handful of maybe 20 or 25 Democrats that he needed. There were two separate side deals, one on the environment and one on labor, to make sure that uh, kind of the Standards were the same in all of the countries. You can't compete if somebody's paying their workers 50 cents an hour and you have to pay your workers $15 an hour. Certainly the jobs are going to flee the country. And we're also worried about, you know, Mexico being a developing country, maybe not having the highest environmental standards. So we don't want NAFTA to be a detriment to our environment. Um, but certainly there's a lot of controversy about whether it works or it doesn't work. But right now that's the deal, baby. Free trade, duty free. Mexico, the United States, investment goods. It's all about the economy. We hope you get the major idea now. NAFTA, say it with me, baby. NAFTA, the North Atlantic Free Trade Agreement. Canada, eh? Out. Canada, the United States, and Mexico. There you go, the worst accents ever. Remember, guys, where attention goes, energy flows. We'll see you next time that we hit you up on the YouTubes. And make sure you check out the new series on H2. Oh, my God, I sound like a commercial guy. United Stuff of America, which is a new show all about artifacts in American history and how they tell really awesome narratives of um, crime and the presidency and engineering. It's a really great show and uh, you might even see somebody that you know on the television show there. There you go. 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and I'm done talking to you. Where attention goes, energy flows. That one's for the learning.